for Angela Sydney Time Fitness. This is your brand new Tuesday seated workout. The equipment you're going to need today is a rope or a belt. This is just a, a robe tie. Um, so whatever works for you, anything you have lying around your house. I have a bottle of water, a full bottle of water. You can use a soup can if you don't have a bottle um, and it's not for drinking. So if you need a bottle next to you for drinking water, you'll want two of them. And the last piece of equipment I have today is just a reusable bag um, and I filled it full of soup cans, but you are welcome to fill it full of rocks or uh, anything that adds a little bit of weight. And if you don't have one of these bags, Again, you're just looking for anything around the house to add a little bit of weight to your workout. All right, so now that we know what equipment we're going to use today, we're going to start with a nice stretch. So we want to stretch out the back side of our legs here, pulling ourselves back into alignment. So start with your foot out in front of you. Make sure your foot is straight. Keep your core tight, pull your toe towards your body, and reach down. Just looking for a nice gentle stretch through the back of the leg there. Make sure you're breathing. Push a little bit deeper and release, and then we're going to do the other side. So the leg is out straight. Again, keep that foot nice and straight. Pull your toe towards your body and reach down into it. Nice gentle stretch, nice deep breath. Go a little bit deeper into it and then release slow and controlled. All right, we are going to warm up the ankles and the feet. So all I'm going to do is extend my foot out and I'm going to rotate just the foot, loosening up the ankle about 10 little rotations on each foot. Keep your tummy in nice and tight. Keep your shoulders relaxed. We're just warming up some of these little body parts and switch sides. So foot goes up, 10 little rotations. And if you need to rest your heel on the ground for these, that's perfectly fine. I'm just picking it up so that you can see what I'm doing here. We'll do one more set of those. So again, take my slippers off so you can see what I'm doing. 10 little rotations. And on the other side, foot goes out and it's 10 little rotations. Just getting the blood moving a little bit. We're going to do the same thing with our wrists. So just 10 little curls or twists, uh, rotations. Not curls, not twists. Just rotations. And the other way. Good. Extend your fingers wide and 
pull them back in. Push wide and pull them back in. Again, we're going for about 10. Pushing out as far as they'll go, squeezing in tight. Out wide and in tight. One more. Good, all right, shake those out. Shoulder rolls, we're gonna use a little bit of shoulders today. We're gonna round forward and pull back. Each time we push forward, we round our shoulders. And as we pull back, don't just pull your arms back, squeeze your shoulder blades back. Round forward, squeeze your shoulder blades. About three more. Two more. Last one. Good job. Again, just kind of roll those shoulders out. Roll your head on your neck. The other way. All right, guys, nice work. Let's get started with our first exercise today. These are sit to stands. Sit to stands utilize all of these muscles in here, in the hips, and in the glutes. I'm going to show you what we're going to do, and then I'm going to show you a modified version before we actually start. So watch closely. The first thing, let's move things so you're not tripping over them. So the first thing we're going to do is scoot to the edge of our chair, sit up nice and tall, and pull that tummy in really tight. From here, I want my feet forward. If you get your feet back here, then you pick up and all your weight goes into your knees. So make sure that your feet are forward. Then we're going to lean forward. Again, making sure that that tummy and tush are really, really tight here. All we're going to do is pick the weight up off the hips from here with a tight tush, squeeze all the way back in through the glutes until you're standing nice and tall. Okay, as we sit back down, I'm gonna reach my hands back for my chair, find my seat, pushing back, and then we sit. Okay, couple things with that. The first, let me do that from a side view so you can see how I'm moving here. Again, I'm gonna lean forward nice and tight. I pick up first, then push in so that my knees aren't shooting forward. I don't want any of my weight to go into my knees. I want to keep it all in this hip area. And then as I come back, I'm bending at the knees, but I'm pushing my hips back, reaching for that chair to sit. The modification for this is going to be right up here. So you can come this far, tighten up those hips and push back up. You don't have to go all the way to a seated position. So that's our move. Be very, very mindful of where your knees are and where your hips are so that you're not tweaking anything in those areas. All right, so we're gonna start from our seated position here. Nice, tight core. Make sure my chair's not moving on me. We're gonna go for 10. So all together, we start by keeping that core nice and tight. Take a big breath in. We lean forward to take the weight off the hips. Feet are about shoulder width apart and forward, not back behind the knees. We tighten up the butt, pick up and push forward. Then we push back, find your seat and sit. There's one. Leaning forward, we breathe out and push forward. 
We reach back for our seat and we sit. Leaning forward, tighten the hips, pick up first, then push forward. Reach back for that seat and sit. This is number four. Leaning forward, tight core, we pick up, come forward, reach back, and sit. Forward, pick up, reach back for your seat. These are really, really important because most people don't think about how they sit and stand. And in your day-to-day -day life, not just when we're exercising, it's really important to have good form when you're doing these so you don't tweak your knees or injure yourself. Make sure you're still breathing and you're keeping the tummy nice and tight. And again, feel free to modify at any point. You can be right here or less range than that. Any sort of movement is going to work those muscles and keep you moving. And it helps if you don't have a chair on wheels. If your chair's not moving on you. And we sit, nice work. Give those legs a rest. We're gonna warm up the back for our first set. So nice tight core. I'm switching to my bag here full of cans. I'm gonna start by leaning forward, holding that bag in one arm beside me. Keep your head up so your back stays flat and your tummy's tight. Now I'm holding my tummy in tight, but I'm not squeezing my shoulders up. You wanna keep your shoulders relaxed at all times, okay? So here we are, nice relaxed shoulders, tight tummy, head up, and all I'm gonna do is grab hold of that bag, lead with the elbow, pulling up, and then I'm gonna set down. So as I pull the elbow up, think about squeezing that shoulder blade back. Squeeze it back. We're going for 10 here. <sighs> Breathe out each time you pick up. And this is the same movement if you were starting a lawnmower or a weed eater. Uh, if you're in the garden pulling weeds. These are all those same movements. Keep your core nice and tight. One more and switch to the other side. I'm gonna do this one from the side angle again so you can see that movement nice and clear. That tummy stays nice and tight. Shoulders are relaxed, head up, elbow comes right up close to the body. I'm not turned out, I'm in nice and close. Pulling that shoulder blade back and return to a rest position. Breathe out as we pull and release. That's three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice work. Tight tummy, sit up tall. All right, guys, from here, feel free to pause the video if you need to and continue at your own pace. Otherwise, we're going for 15 this time. So 15 sit to stands and then 15 on the mid rows. Keep your core tight, pull that tummy in, scooch to the edge of your chair so that you have the ability to pick yourself up. Sometimes if we're way back here, we're not forward enough to be able to pick our hips up off that chair. So scoot forward, toes are forward, not back here behind the knees, and your feet are about shoulder width apart. Nice and tight, relax the shoulders. We start by leaning forward, take the weight off the hips, tighten up the butt, pick up, and push forward. 
15. Here we go. Seven. Remember, you're welcome to modify at any point. Four to go. so your back stays flat. We're going to keep that arm coming right up next to the body so I'm not turned out as I come up. Close to the body, squeeze the shoulder blade back. Three, four, breathe as you pull. and 15 on the other side. Same thing, nice and tight, shoulders are relaxed. We pull, one, two, Good job. All right, guys, final set, we're going for 20. Now, at any point, if you need to modify, you are welcome to do so. You are also welcome to stop whenever you get tired. We're gonna push for 20 because we wanna push ourselves beyond what we would normally think. So if you feel like you get to 15 and that was pretty easy and you can keep going, that's where those extra few come in, is pushing yourself so that you're challenging your body to make a difference. However, if you get to 15 and it's a struggle and you feel like you're losing your form, stop, don't keep going. You wanna make sure your form always comes before you push yourself, okay? So here we go, nice and tight, feet shoulder width apart, and we're out, right? We're not pulled back here. We're out, tight, Shoulders are down, bend forward to take the weight off the hips, tighten up the butt. We lift and push. Reach back and sit. There's one. All the way to 20. And make sure you're breathing.
chair seems to be rolling away. We got 10 to go. We're halfway there. Keep tight. Again, if you feel like you are losing your form, feel free to stop. Last one. Good job. All right, guys, last set on those back muscles. Keep that hand facing in, lead with the elbow coming back and use that shoulder blade. Lift and squeeze the shoulder blade as you pull back. Nice tight tummy, shoulders are relaxed, head up in neutral, so your back stays nice and flat. And again, same thing, stop when you need to. Form always comes first. Here we go to 20. Good, and the other side. Head up, shoulders down. Keep that elbow coming in nice and close to the body. Gotta get a good handle here. Good grip. And we pull. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good work, guys. Woo, you should be feeling those back muscles. Feel free to grab some water here if you need to. And then when you're done, grab your water bottle for your exercise. We are using these today for our wrists. So we're gonna do some gentle wrist curls. Again, if you don't have a water bottle, you're welcome to use a soup can or something like that. You're just looking for a little bit of weight to add so that we can work those wrists. I'm resting my arm right here on my leg. And all I'm doing is starting with a tight tummy, shoulders relaxed. I'm just gonna curl at the wrist, going for 10. So notice I'm not moving at the elbow. It's just right here at the wrist. And 10 on the other side. So again, I support my arm with my, with my leg here. Start with my hand down. This stays nice and straight, doesn't move. I'm just moving here at the wrist.
Good job. From here, we're going to work some of those tummy muscles. These are diagonal tummy muscles or uh, seated bicycle crunches, seated diagonal crunches, whatever you want to call them. We're going to move elbow to opposite knee. So pull your tummy in nice and tight. Feel free to sit back in your chair if you need to. If you're not using the back of your chair for support, sit up nice and tall here. Keep that tummy pulled in so you're pulling your belly button into your spine. Shoulders are relaxed. Modified version is going to be little ranges of motion right here, pulling the elbow and knee towards each other. If that's easy and you need to make it more challenging, you're going to extend your limbs out further. The further you go, the harder it is. So if I start all the way up and I pull, that's going to be more challenging. And finally, if you need it harder than that, you're going to straight limbs bringing hand towards your foot and breathing out. So find whatever level you need to. We're gonna go for 10 on each side and then we'll go back to our wrist curls. Here we go, nice and tight. Breathe out each time you squeeze. And guys, make sure that you're not just moving. If I just sit here and I do this, I could do this all day. I'm not really doing much, but I could do it. Make sure you're keeping that tummy tight and instead of just moving the body, squeeze through the abdominals and really engage them each time you move. So there's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good, and other side, nice and tight, sit up tall. Elbow to knee, we squeeze. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good work. All right, back to our lovely wrist curls. This time we go for 15. So again, each set we're trying to push ourselves just a little bit further. If you find that the bottle is easy, find something a little bit heavier. If you need more resistance, anything around the house that has a little bit of weight to it. If you have uh, empty milk jugs, those gallon jugs work really good if you fill them full of water. They work just like a six to eight pound weight. Nice way to add a little bit of resistance to your workout. Just moving at that wrist again. And again, guys, if you don't have a heavier weight, simply add more reps to what you're doing. That's a perfect way to make it a little more challenging. If you don't have the ability to go heavier, do more. Good work. Going back to those tummy exercises, try and push it just a little and make it a little harder if you can. So again, we're going for 15 reps. If this was easy, try and go a little bit further out so that you're working a little bit more to squeeze the elbow and knee together. And again, make sure you're using your abdominals and you're not just moving your limbs. Okay, nice and tight, going for 15. Breathe. If you have lower back problems, sit back in your chair and utilize the back of your seat to support your core. That'll help. And then again, the tighter the core, the better support you have through that lower back.
and 15 to the other side. Here we go, nice and tight. Good job, guys. Another modification, if you can't move this direction, is just to pick up the feet or just move that upper body. You can modify to anywhere you need to. And remember, just move. That's half the battle, is just do something because something is better than nothing. We're gonna do our last set. We're going for 20. So again, nice tight, shoulders down, leaning forward and supporting my arm on my leg here, and I'm just moving at the wrist, going for 20. Here we go. Keep it controlled. It's not how quickly we get through them, it's how uh, controlled and how well we use those muscles. Good job. 20 on the other side, here we go. Again, we brace, tummy's tight, shoulders are down. There is one, two, three, four, And 20 good work one last set for those tummy muscles again try and go a little bit more challenging than you did before and we're gonna go for 20 reps this time if you feel like you're losing your form or something's hurting not in the way that you're using your muscles it's a pain if you feel a pain you want to stop and not work through that but if you feel like you're just exhausting your body just work through it and keep moving until you hit either your limit or it becomes too too much or uh, you reach where we're headed. So going for 20 here. Nice and tight. Shoulders are relaxed. Even though my arm's up, my shoulders are down. I'm not squeezed up here. So we're nice and tight. Here we go. Going for 20. So again, make sure you're not working through any pain. If this hurts, don't push through it. Stop where you are. Each time we do these, we just do what you can handle. And we get stronger and stronger each time. We're halfway there, 10 to go. Nice work. 20 on the other side, tight tummy, shoulders are relaxed, squeezing opposites. Here we go. Modify if you need to. Notice I'm not touching, you don't have to touch. Nice 
Nice job. Give that tummy a nice rest. Woo! All right, guys, we are almost done. We are going to start with our last two exercises. Back to my bag here. Now, if you had a good weight for your back, you may need to go a little bit lighter for our arms. We're going to do some bicep curls. A um, couple things with that. Number one is if the bag of cans is too much, you are welcome to switch back to your water bottle or just an individual can. Um, or you're welcome to take a few cans out to make it a little lighter. Whatever you need to do to make it feel like it's the level you need to be at. Uh, the other thing is if it's easy, add a few more cans, add a little extra weight until you feel like it's the right level for you. Okay, so I'm going to start by tucking my elbow into my inner thigh here. That's going to give good support for the elbow so that we don't risk tweaking it. Keep it held in there and then the bag is in my hand and all I'm going to do is bring that bag up, curl, and set it down. Curl and set it down. I'm keeping nice and tight through the front of the arm here, or the biceps. And this is our set of 10. So we've got five, four, three, two, and one. Good, 10 on the other side. So again, I'm bracing that elbow into the inner thigh. My tummy is nice and tight. Try and keep your wrist straight as you come up. You don't want to uh, have it bending in weird positions. Keep it nice and controlled. Chest is high, head's in neutral. And that's 10. Good work. All right, from here, that's where this rope comes in. We're gonna work our shoulders and don't worry if, you're, if you don't have a band. If you have a band, that's fine too. But we can work these shoulders without actually moving them. All we're gonna do is add some resistance to them. So elbows are tucked in nice and tight, shoulders are down and relaxed, and I'm sitting tall. Again, feel free to sit back in your chair and use the support of the chair if you need to. With elbows tucked in, I'm not tensing through the shoulders. I'm relaxed. Okay, from here, palms are up. I'm going to hold my rope, and all I'm going to do is pull my hands apart. And even though they're not going anywhere, you should feel those shoulders working to resist against. Okay? Ten of those. So we're going to pull and release and breathe as you pull. Excuse me, talking too much. Little tickle in my throat. One more. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, back to our bicep curls. And again, we got that water on hand just in case you need it. Get a little dry. This in the throat. Okay. Back to our bicep curls. We're going for our set of 15 this time. So I'm bracing that elbow into that inner thigh, leaning forward, chest is high, tummy's tight, and shoulders are relaxed. Going for 15, here we go. One, try and keep the wrist straight. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 
13, 14, 15. Nice work. 15 on the other side. Nice tight tummy. Elbows locked into that inner thigh. Make sure you got a good hold on your bag here. You're welcome to use your handles. I'm choosing not to because they are awful long and I want good control. But if you have good handles, you are welcome to use those. Okay, elbows in, sitting tall so my chest is high and I'm curling one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, really working through the front of that arm. Make sure you're flexing as you come up and releasing controlled. Good. Going for 15 on those shoulders. So again, palms are up, elbows tucked in, and I'm down here at kind of a 90 degree angle, hands even with the elbows, I'm not up here. Okay, so down, elbows tucked in, and we're gonna pull apart. This time, try and hold it as we pull for a second or two. Um, and again, we're going for 15. So shoulders are relaxed, not tense. Here we go. Make sure again, as we're pulling, I'm not pulling my elbows out. I'm keeping those tucked in. I'm just pulling through my hands, like I'm pushing them in opposite directions. And I'm coming back so that you can see that there is a relax and a pull. But you don't have to release that much. You can simply rest and pull. Just make sure that you're pulling the hands apart, engaging those uh, rotator cuffs. I think we got about three to go. Last two. Last one. Good job. I should be feeling those rotator cuffs about now. <clears throat> we got one final set on the biceps and then one final set on the rotator cuff. This is our set of 20. This is the set that counts. The first two sets are kind of just warm-ups. You don't tend to do much uh, in terms of pushing the body. Once your body is warmed up, after two sets, when you get into three, four, or five, however many sets you're looking to do, that's when you really start hitting those muscles and making the change. So make sure you're pushing yourself on your last set. Tuck that elbow in nice and tight. Remember, keep tight through the arm so that you really engage that bicep. Relax the shoulders and breathe out each time you come up. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. As you start to get tired, there is a trick you can use to help spot yourself from this position. Um, so when you come up, if you need the extra support, I'm using my fingers here and all you have to do is give a little assistance as you pull. That'll help get you through those last couple. There's four more, three more, two, and last one, nice work. Going for 20 on the other side. Again, feel free to spot yourself if you need to.
Five to go. Five, four, three, two. Again, spot if you need to. And done. Nice work. One final set and then we're going to stretch it out, guys. Elbows tucked in, palms up, shoulders relaxed, tummies tight. We start by pulling and releasing and we're going for 20. Again, don't work through pain. So at any point, if you feel like this is hurting, then you're done for the day. You've gone to your limit. Rotator cuffs are so very important. Make sure you get those in as often as you can with your workout. Again, make sure you're pulling the hands apart, not the elbows. Don't let the elbows come out. Keep those tucked in. So you're just pulling the hands apart. Halfway there, 10 to go. Make sure you're holding it for a few seconds and releasing. Hold it for a few seconds and release. When you hit your limit, if you feel like you can't get to 20, stop when you need to. Two more. Last one. Good job. Roll your shoulders out. All right. I am going to use my same little rope here to stretch some of my muscles out. So I'm going to start by putting it over my toe. And I'm going to lift my leg just so you can see a little easier what I'm doing. I'm keeping my foot straight and I'm not way out here. I'm in even with my hip. I'm going to pull my toe towards my body so I get a nice good stretch through the back side of the leg. You're welcome to keep your foot on the ground. And if you don't have something like this, if you were using something that doesn't quite work for this particular uh, stretch, you can do it without. There's nothing wrong with doing it here. So we're going to go ahead and hold that. For 30 second hold, about, I just count it in my head. Pull it a little bit deeper and then release. Good work and switch to the opposite side. And again, a belt works just as good for these guys. A belt, a hand towel, whatever you need. You're just looking for something to get yourself a little bit deeper than you would normally be able to go. And if you don't have anything, you're welcome to do it without. Pulling that toe towards the body and I'm keeping my foot straight. I'm not turned outward. I'm nice and straight pulling in, working the back side of that leg. Pull a little bit deeper and then release. Good. From here, I want to stretch out these hip flexors and my glute area. Those are super important to hit, um, especially with all the sitting we've been doing lately. So if you can, you're going to cross your leg up over your knee here, and then you're going to take, oops, 
the same arm and you're going to reach forward as far as you can. If you cannot get your leg up that high, this strap comes in right here. So you start down low, you're going to extend your opposite leg out, and then you're just going to pull that leg to where it feels comfortable for you. Don't push through pain if you got knee problems or joint problems. Don't push past pain. Stop before the pain hits. Go up as high as you feel comfortable, and then same thing, reach down into it. If you can come all the way up though, you're welcome to do so. This is one of my favorite stretches. Such a good one. Reach a little bit deeper, release, and then we're gonna to switch to the opposite side. So we bring that leg up, and again, if you need it modified, use that rope you have to pull up as high as you feel comfortable, not to pain. Don't go to pain. When you get as high as you feel comfortable going, take the, uh, the same arm and reach down as far as you can. Go a little bit deeper and release, good. From here, I wanna stretch out those back and shoulder muscles, so I'm gonna push my arms back, squeeze your shoulder blades together, really squeeze them back, and head goes up. And from here, we round forward. So don't just reach your hands, but round your shoulder blades, pull your belly into your spine, and push your arms out as far as they'll go. Push a little further and release. Nice work today, guys. Happy Tuesday. Get out there. Have an amazing day, whatever you choose to do, whether you're puttering around the house or taking a walk around the block. Do something and feel like you've accomplished today. Nice workout, and I will see you all Thursday right back here for your seated workout.